Today marks 21 years since the Cincinnati man was found murdered. So right now the case of Michael Warshman remains unsolved, but there is new hope in that cold case. Yeah, Brittany Harry is live in North Fairmount tonight where she spoke with the victim's sister who says she's never going to give up on finding out who killed her brother and why. Brittany. Yeah, that's exactly right. Could you imagine going 21 years not knowing? So right now we're in the 2000 block of Baltimore Avenue. This is where back in 2003, Michael Warsham's body was found. So the case, as you can see behind me here with this poster and these balloons that his sister put out, it still remains unsolved at this point. But she says hopefully it'll get a fresh set of eyes with the new cold case unit that was recently launched in Hamilton County. He was like, sis, I'm about to hit the road. I'll be back. I was like, all right, bro, be careful. He gave the kids you know, some money and left on now. That was the last time I talked to him. That was on Halloween in 2003. Antoinette Warsham says she had no idea that would be the last time she'd see her brother, Michael Warsham. A few days later, Antoinette says Michael was held for ransom before being killed. They shot him one time in the back of the head, duct taped him and threw his body in the woods where we're standing. Antoinette says she believes more than one person is involved in her brother's killing, but who she says is unknown. But I'm still fighting. I'm still fighting and trying to figure out 21 years later and I'm not gonna stop. Antoinette says Michael is a man who will forever be remembered as someone who would always put others first. The life of the party, Antoinette says, and someone who was lovable and respectful. You know, the saying gone, but not forgotten, you know, I'm hoping one day, right? One day I will find out who did this to my brother right here in my own city. And Antoinette says that she truly believes her brother's story wouldn't still be being told today if it wasn't for the help of Hope Dudley. Now that name might sound familiar to you. Hope unfortunately knows his pain all too well. Her son, Daniel Chaz Dudley, was shot and ki killed. His case also remains unsolved. So she started this organization called You Can Speak For Me and basically uh, they raise awareness to unsolved cases in the region. So if you have any information about Daniel's case, Michael's case, any unsolved homicide, in Hamilton County, you should call Crime Stoppers at numbers 513-352-3040. I'm reporting North Fairmont, Brittany Harry, Fox 19 Now.